Hi everyone, my name is Amy Lee and I am a fashion and lifestyle content creator based in Los Angeles. I uploaded my first video onto YouTube around 7 years ago at the ripe old age of 17, so you could say I know a thing or two about creating online video. I create everything from fashion lookbooks to beauty videos and travel vlogs. So creating online video has always been my favorite form of content creation. So that's why I'm so excited today because Adobe has invited me to show you how I incorporate Rush into my workflow and how to make videos more easily both on the go and at home. As a fashion and lifestyle creator, I am always on the go. The city is my playground. For myself, a video always starts with an idea. From there, I will do a really rough storyboarding of all the shots I need. Then we go into shooting. Shooting can take anywhere from 4 to 24 hours. It really depends, but for a lookbook, it will take around 5 to 6 hours. From there, I will import all the footage onto my computer immediately and start going on to the editing program and edit my video. Hands down, the video editing process has got to be the most time consuming out of all of these steps. I can be editing a video from a minimum of four hours to almost three days. Even though online video is my main platform, I stay present on all forms of social media, whether that's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, so it's super hard for me to create video content on the go. Creating online video for me means I'm slaving away at home, usually in the dark, post-mating food, and stuck to the computer screen. With Rush, I am able to create video content much more easily and on the go because it allows me to import mobile footage straight from my phone. It has title cards, audio ducking, and I love the filtering option. Now here's a quick overview on how I edit on the mobile app. First, I seamlessly import all my footage straight from my phone onto the app. One of my favorite features is the Lightroom-like presets. You can adjust your lighting from contrast, saturation, to vibrance. Then I add a title card where I can easily change the font sizing, character spacing, and even the outline and fill of the fonts. Next, not only can you seamlessly import media files such as audio tracks, you can also use one of the pre-existing Rush audio files on hand. Here I am using Knockout, and one of my favorite features of this app is the audio ducking option for when you are speaking in your clip. Hey guys! So today we are hanging out with Adobe in San Francisco and we're about to do some crazy All right, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching I hope you check out rush and I can't wait to see the content you create